You will learn all the best team building strategies in 5 easy steps and you'll have an easier time with challenging content such as the Spiral Abyss. If you want to take control of full benefits when it comes to generating energy, then it's highly recommended for you to include two characters of the same element into your team. The basic explanation of energy generation is that they are needed for elemental bursts and you create this energy from using character skills, completing 4 basic attacks in a row or by simply dealing damage to enemies. This energy generation comes in the form of elemental particles which gets absorbed by your whole team. Although not all energy gets absorbed equally. The best example would be if you use an electro character skills when they generate electro particles, another party member who is also from the electro element gets more energy than others. Finally, by having two characters from the same element in the team activates elemental resonance which can give some serious benefits. For example, having two pyro characters gives you 25% increased attack. This is why it's important to build a team of at least two same element characters so you can have an easier time generating energy for them and also get elemental resonance boost. It's a lot of fun activating everyone's skills and bursts but once you're out of ammo you need to have a dedicated damage dealer who will do the dirty work until you get your cooldowns back. Building up on our previous step it's highly recommended that your main damage dealer is one of the two same element characters that you include in your team. This way you will generate energy faster for your damage dealer which in return will generate more energy for everyone else. Also keep in mind that it's a very good idea to equip weapons and artifacts that give benefits to your main damage dealers basic and charged attacks. If you can't decide who should be your main damage dealer just pick the most favorite character you have and build a team around them. Elemental Reactions is a big part of Genshin Impact. Having at least one character in a team that can create these reactions reliably can do wonders for your team's performance. Some characters that are good at this job include Shangling, Fischl, Jingshu, Chongyun, Barbara and many more. In fact, having more than one unit who can create reliable elemental reactions is more than welcome. For example, a combination of Fischl and Shangling is very strong and can produce a steady stream of overload reactions. And who doesn't love big booms anyway? Animo units can give an excellent boost to almost any team composition. The most important thing you need to understand is the swirl reaction an Animo unit creates. You might have noticed that when the main protagonist uses their skill near fire, water, ice or electricity, the wind attack immediately absorbs the element. In result, your elemental damage will increase and the status effects will spread. Later on in the game, there is an extremely potent artifact set that reduces enemies resistance under the swirl effect. Effect. And long story short, resistance is a stat every enemy has and by reducing it they can take an increased amount of damage. And let's not forget that characters like Venti, Jean and Sucrose can lock all enemies in place by creating a vortex, making it very easy to gather everyone in one place and finish them off with your main damage dealer. So now that you know so much, let's use your knowledge and build a team together. Here's an example, let's say Razor will be the main damage dealer because we enjoy playing him. This makes our job of narrowing down the second member easier because we need them to be an electro user so that we can gather more energy and get the benefits of elemental resonance. We decide that Fischl will be our second member. Now we need someone who can create elemental reactions for us. So we go for Kaya because cryo and electro elemental reaction not only deals extra damage but more importantly reduces affected targets physical resistance by 50%. It just so happens that Razor is a very good physical attacker and as mentioned before, reducing targets resistance can have a significant boost for your damage. Finally, our last party member is Sucrose. Her skills will come in handy when we want to group enemies together in one place and she will also cause swirl elemental reactions, increasing our overall damage. Although we could also go for a second cryo character so we could end up with an electro and cryo elemental resonances. And we could still make more different combinations, for example example, replacing Kaya with Shangling, so now we create overload reactions instead of superconduct. We highly recommend for you to first experiment with more than few combinations so you can decide for yourself what type of playstyle you prefer more. A lot of joy can be found in Genshin Impact just by trying out new characters and now that you have all the knowledge in team building, we believe you will be able to create your very own dream team. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button 
button. Also, check out our other videos on Genshin Impact, which includes a tier list that you can also read on our website, gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.